Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about being alone. There's a lot of people that feel alone out there. Loneliness can kill you. People kill themselves over loneliness. There's a lot of lonely men out there these days. Probably lonely women too, but I hear the complaints more from men. I think there's a lot of pressure on people to have successful relationships and relationships are difficult. However, I think that one of the reasons why people aren't staying in relationships, they're choosing a path of loneliness. I think, I think it's because that a lot of people don't really have a handle on their emotions, particularly men. I think a lot of men are lost in their emotions. They let their emotions control them. And when you do that, a breakup, a bad relationship can devastate you, can really hurt. I mean, I know. A bad relationship, a breakup from a relationship that you got too emotional in, can make a guy go crazy, make a guy go homeless, turn a guy to addiction. When I was homeless, coming off a bad relationship that I got too emotional in. I mean, obviously the number one reason people are homeless is drugs, but the reason what turned them to drugs was a bad relationship. The number one reason why people went homeless, why men went homeless, I can't speak for now, but when I was homeless, this is the way it was. The number one reason was because their relationship broke up. These guys were in a marriage. This is like every one of them. The marriage broke up for whatever reason. The guy spun out of control and with addiction, ended up out in the streets. A drug addict, a lonely drug addict. Dreaming of the life that he lost. This was every one of them. You get lost in emotion, and life just feels like a roller coaster ride. A ride of ups and downs, highs and lows. Just looking for that next high, but the high doesn't last long. Just like when you chase vice, it's the same experience, but your life turns into the same sort of chase for pleasure. You count them up. I only had two highs. There was only two highs and a lot of lows. Some of the highs really even weren't that high. What a waste of a life. It's a person who's living a life without meaning, without purpose. When you live a life for, with a purpose, with meaning, the highs and lows even out. Now, that doesn't mean you live in a boring life. It just means you're not riding a roller coaster of emotion. When the good times happen, the best of times happen, you're cool. You're glad that it's going on. You're glad the good times are here. But you understand the temporariness of summer, the temporariness of winter. We learn as kids that summer doesn't last forever. The good times end. The suffering has to come. When the bad times happen, you remember the same thing. Winter, winter will be over soon. The snow will melt. I'll no longer need to build a fire to survive. People let loneliness torture them and it's really a self-validation issue is what I see it as. You need to practice self-love if you really truly love yourself and are practicing self-love involved in mind body and soul activities that build your strength up build your mindset up turn you from being in a place of negativity because that's really where you're at when you're lonely is you're in a place of negativity you're running a dialogue telling yourself i'm not worthy i'm not worthy of love i've never been loved i you know all this stuff you need to turn that around somebody who is practicing a mindset 
of I'm loved, you know, I am taken care of, I'm happy, you know, telling themselves positive affirmations. That motherfucker is able to be productive even when they're alone. They're not debilitated. A lot of people, when they get alone, they just shut down. They can't function. They don't even know what to do. Their entire existence is tied to other people. I know what this was like. I got dumped by my fiance and I went homeless, spun out of control, went crazy, got in, became a drug addict and stopped all productivity. I had dreams, I had hopes that I was actively working for. All that stuff went out the window and I just chose to wander the streets like a lonely soul, like a ghost. Like a zombie. They gave up on my entire life. How do you keep going when you've been rejected? If you have an extreme sense of self-love, supreme self-love, that's the validation that you need. You're overflowing with love and validation of self and you can hand that out, dole it out to others. Like charity, here you go, I got extra love. You need some, you need some extra love? I got plenty. You're not desperate for people to feed you with it, to keep you going. Learn to be alone. If you can thrive and not just survive being alone, but thrive being alone, then you can do a lot better in a relationship. You, in fact, that's the way it works. You will not be able to be happy in a relationship, to be successful in a relationship if you can't be happy and successful by yourself. Especially as a man. A weak man can only be successful with a woman by his side. Because he needs that constant validation, that patting on the head, that coochie coo, it's okay, it's okay, you need your mommy. A lot of men go from their parents' house to their wife's you know, house, basically. I know guys that have no skills to take care of themselves. Even my own grandfather was this way. When my grandmother died, he didn't know how to cook. He didn't know how to boil water. He didn't know how to make toast. Didn't know how to make his own coffee. Could barely dress himself. My grandmother had been taking care of him like a baby since before World War II. Since my grandfather left his parents' house and his mother used to treat him that way. My grandfather had never cleaned up his own room. His parents cleaned up his room. And then he moved in with his wife, and his wife cleaned up his room. He had never done his own laundry. He didn't know how to, he bought plenty of washing machines, but he never used one before. You know, simple self-sufficiency, empowerment, to be able to do things on your own for yourself can give you that strength to be alone because when people leave us, unfortunately, they die off. Unfortunately, sometimes people dump us. Unfortunately, people leave our lives and we're left standing there, solitary, alone, just wondering what the fuck happened. How do you still go on? I know what it's like to shut down. And I promised myself that if I ever get left again, if I ever find myself just standing there alone again, I won't mind at all. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'll enjoy it. Maybe it'll be a sigh of relief instead of a gasp for air, a desperation of, oh my God, what am I going to do? Because I know what that's like to be on the ground crying, sobbing, saying over and over, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? I'm so alone. I'm so alone. The weakest time I've ever had in my life emotionally was when I felt like I was alone. It was after my father's death. My father got murdered. I wasn't prepared to walk this path in life by myself. I realized I had to strengthen myself. It's taken me a long time. Decades, in fact. It doesn't happen overnight. But a good part of my life has been, a, been about preparing myself for those alone times. For when your wife dies, your parents are dead, you have nobody left on this earth, what happens to you then? I have a buddy of mine who just killed himself. That happened to him and he killed himself. He couldn't handle being alone. 
Being alone is temporary, just like the winter. People come, people go. We can't get trapped in one season. Can't latch on to one season for too long. This is why a warrior trains year round. A warrior trains all the time in peace and in war. Constantly working on ourselves, constantly building ourselves stronger, constantly preparing for the worst, for that storm. It's all just food for thought. Thanks for watching.